Hello, hello. Welcome back to another installation of What Would Lou Do? Today, we're going to share with you the primary defense, the best defense to defend your home and your loved ones against Nazis. That's right. <laughs> But as far as, you know, the, the bug experts are, are concerned, they refer to it as fruit flies. They love the scent of fruit, whether it's rotting, whether it is fermenting, they're attracted to it like crazy. And not just fruit, though, they, they love vegetables as well. But these little turds can get in your house and just create a storm, a wave of just enemies that you really find yourself at a loss of how to get rid of them. Well, this is going to take care of that for you. Now, if you're like us and you compost your, your fruit scraps, your vegetable scraps and things, that is a big place that they love to, to migrate to. And because it's something that's out of sight, out of mind, you don't disturb it much. So they just have a tendency to sit there and breed and breed and breed. And next thing you know, at the end of the week, you go to move that compost bag and all of a sudden there's a big swarm of them that come out. While they may dissipate from that area, they don't necessarily just disappear. They kind of go all over the house. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, you know, every room we go into, there's gnats or anything. But I have had it like that in the past. Um, when we first came here, for some reason, there were just gnats were really bad. And until I discovered this, I don't have to worry about it. I just set one or two of them out every once in a while. And boom, they, it, it takes care of them for me. I don't have to run around and try to shoot them with my gun. Running around trying to hit them with the hatchet other people get hurt when that happens you know what i mean <laughs> let's get into it and show you guys uh, how to make this trap and by the way this is just one of the many traps that we know how to make we know how to make traps for for rats for bees for wasps for carpenter bees for flies so if you want to see any of those kind of things be sure to let us know in the comments and uh, we will gladly make a video to share those things with you so these are the materials you're going to need for this a small mason jar the bigger your jar is the more uh, liquid you're going to have to put into it so the smaller the better then for your your concoction right you're going to need red wine vinegar it does not have to be organic this is just what i have on hand i would actually recommend that you not use organic because it's more expensive but i'm going to sacrifice mine not only to show you guys but killing these nancy's as well <laughs> so you're going to need some red wine vinegar i've tried it with other types of vinegar but i've had the best success with red wine you will need a couple of drops of dish soap it doesn't have to be any particular kind any any will do you'll need a sheet of paper preferably one of your daughter's pieces of paper with hearts drawn on it just a nice touch <laughs> Something to trace out your shape. This right here just happens to be a bit bigger, maybe a quarter of an inch wider than the diameter of this, this jar here. So you need that, obviously, the pen to trace it with, scissors to cut it out with, and tape to tape our funnel on top of here. All right, so first things first, just so I can demonstrate the differences in size. So there's that one. So there you can see the difference, right? If you were to just do it with, with the jar you're using, when you go to make this funnel, it's gonna fall into the, your jar. So that's why you need it to be a little bit bigger. So once you have this, you just kinda of wanna get a, get a rough center mark. You don't have to draw it, you can just eyeball it. But what we're gonna do is cut this out and then we're gonna cut a line down the middle to about midways. Then, like I said, you're just going to cut up and you want to go about halfway through. So if you look here, half it should be about the same distance, whether it's this way or that way. And then you're just going to fold it in on itself, you see, and it makes this little cone. The Nazis go down in here. They smell the goodness. And what happens is they go in there. But they're not smart enough to find their way back to this hole. They just kind of fly around these edges. And eventually they get tired and fall in the juice. The soap clogs up their wings and they won't be able to fly out of it. And then the vinegar being strong and acidic will kill them. And uh, yes, it's all very gruesome, very gruesome. But, uh, you know, it's, it's us or them. All right, so now you're just going to take your tape. Just get two, two small pieces. You want to have a bit of overlap. You don't want it to be perfectly the same size because then it'll just fall through so once you get your size tape on the back right there to hold that in place so tape there 
and tape there and that holds it holds it in place for you all right so now we're done with all that so it comes down to the vinegar and the soap you just want to fill this up to about a quarter of an inch away from your spout your funnel if it's way far down they don't smell it as well and so they will not go in to your natsi juice okay so that that's almost a quarter of an inch away from the top so that's that's perfect so you don't want this to get wet because otherwise they'll uh, hang out here instead of going into your uh, jim jones kool-aid now for the soap i usually do about four or five drops so it goes one two three four five you can kind of just shake it around a little bit but you don't want it to be bubbly you're not trying to attract them to soap you're trying to attract them to the other stuff right so that's why you just want a little bit we're going to just peel off two more pieces of tape just as a temporary hold take a little nip off the end and i kind of fold it the other way now you can see there's a good hole for them to get in okay so now that that is on there get it to where it can fold over just a little like just barely over that lip if you get it too small it would actually want to fall down into your concoction there and you won't be able to keep them in you don't want it too big because that could potentially give them a way to get out so you just want a, a little hole so that they can get in there but not so big that they can just come right back out so now you just got to go around and tape your edges i just suggest doing little pieces at a time it's it's more time consuming but that's the best way i've found to to keep this on here go from each piece that way there's no openings left anywhere this border right up in here this is actually where they're going to try to come out it doesn't have to be scotch tape there are actually better tapes that are more sticky but this is probably the more readily available tape that most people would have. And, you know, it's usually cheaper than a lot of the other tapes. It's not exactly going to win any kind of art contest, but that's good enough for me. So if you look right there, you can see how far away it is from the top. Now you just sit this in your most problematic area. It's best to sit these out in a couple of rooms. That way you can, you know, knock them out and they don't have a chance to breed anywhere else because they certainly will. These little things, man, they multiply in days. Before you know it, you have an army of Nazis in your perimeter. So give this a try and you won't regret it. And I'll show you some results. Here are two other ones that I've, I've made. Look at all those little buggers in there. Now this has been sitting here for a couple of months now. And you can see just how many of those things that we've caught throughout the summer. I mean, that's, that's a lot of Nazis right there. That's one. And then let's, here's another one. You know, so... Yeah, this is a very, very effective trap. If you need any definitive proof, just look at all the bodies. So there you have it, guys, with just a few common household ingredients. You too can be a killing machine against the dreaded Nancy enemy. We hope that you guys uh, have as much success with this as we have. If it worked for you, we ask that you strike that like, swell that bell, subscribe and vibe with us and make us feel all appreciated and whatnot. We appreciate you guys for watching. As we always say, seek the Lord while it may be found, or call upon him while he is near, because he is near unto those to be of a broken heart and save such that be of a contrite spirit. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. He resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So cast yourself down before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Until next time, guys, take care, and God bless.